after plucking, I just realized I've been asleep on myself. <laughs> like, I've really been asleep on myself. Y'all, my eyebrows are so thick right now. Like, and I'm not going to criticize myself. I think I look beautiful natural. But I definitely let myself go. Like, y'all, I was plucking hair. Bro, I had to shave sideburns. Like, just to come back to me. I let myself go. I did. But I'm tightening up. I'm not going to lie. I'm tightening up. I want to look cute. I'm with the shit. <laughs> Um, so I'm actually going to set, um, a hair laser removal. Might bring y'all with me on that journey, but I'm over the hair. It's like the fact I got to wax. I'm trying to decide, do I want to wax or shave? Like, <laughs> but we'll figure it out along the way. Um, but I hope everybody's doing good. I'm just open to this thought of getting back cute like right now i'm in my pjs i just got in the shower and i'm in my room right now and nothing came out when i just hit this vape i just splurged on myself i got the whole set for 167 period. I am excited. Period. <laughs> I'm excited. I just really first on myself. Wow. Like, I've been wanting this perfume. Now I gotta. Wow. I'm an elegant goddess. I knew it. <laughs> but I'm about to uh, probably go get my toes done. I'm having a self care day. Why not? I deserve it. That's what I told myself. I'm tired of looking raggedy and dusty and crusty. Let me stop. That's me. I shouldn't say that about myself. But yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna go get my toes done, so I'll check back in. So in honor of splurging on myself, found this fire ice jacket. I don't know if I'm gonna get this one. I found another one as well. This one is Playboy Life. Who don't like Playboy Life? Look at that. So I'm trying to see if I'm in love because I really like Playboy shit, but I don't know. It's fire though. I don't know, I think I'm gonna get it. It's like sixty dollars. Alright, so this is the other one. It's a Playboy P P for playa, you feel me? Keep it playa. But it's fire too, but I like this one better. Like it got more details. This is just, I don't know, I think I'm gonna get this one. It's not like a heavy set, it's light. This, which is cute, like, this is fire. I think I'm gonna have to get this. More retail therapy. They don't even fit all of them. I found some other ones that are mad cute, so. A little retail therapy. Do these eat or not?
All right, I had to do like a total reset for real. Like I have been not dressing. I did my hair, I have it tied up right now, but I have not been dressing at all. Like doing my hair, doing my eyebrows. I'm just like, I wanna, I wanna feel cute. Like a gazelle, like I'm trying to look cute. Um, Sometimes you just, you just gotta take out that time that you need for yourself because I've been wearing sweats like every day all the time it's crazy and like i'm getting back to dressing up i have wore a really cute outfit i've already put it on i bought it for some boutique and i bought it for some boutique um it's really cute say angel on it little two-piece outfit so i'm gonna put this on too Honestly, it's just good to, like, dress yourself and, like, feel good again. And y'all seen I had bought some um, perfume. So, it's just, I'm just trying to get back to the things that I, that makes me feel good. So, I'm going to take this scarf off, do my eyebrows, do my makeup, and I'll be back. Strawberry colada smoothie. That should have been a candy. That sounds good. It can be because what? we asked them to put a shot or two of something in the. They're going to tax so hard. But don't get a colada. What? Oh. That should probably bust. My drink look good. I need a camera. Full review. After these shrimp. And my homegirl piece of steak right here. <laughs> all right, I already taste the shrimp. The shrimp don't hit like that. It ain't all that. And like a bag of chips, it's not. But I ain't gonna down it. I'm just saying you can get it from Guy Rose in the hood for way less. All right, we're gonna try that steak and after that. Not Beyonce. Let me put a little A1 sauce on my little pizza steak. And let me utilize the moment. I'm that shrimp threw me out. I told you, it got a little. I could have got this for $7.99. Is it how you try to drink it? Because I got a little dog just. Oh, right. Yeah. Here is the steak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, nah, it's just way better. Um, yeah. Mm. That's just way better. <laughs> mm, mm. You didn't hear me do nothing about the front. Mm -mm. I fucked up. I fucked up, but I, I got the wrong motherfucker. That's okay. Ain't here. Ain't here. Ain't here. It's definitely here. Fresh, crisp baking. I thought that. I thought that bad this time. The chili sauce is good. It's, it's distracting me. I'm not feeling it. It was soft though. Yeah, it's not about it. It's kind of dusty. Yeah. Everything else is definitely here. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. I mean, chili sauce good, the fries good, the shrimp, it ain't better than the steak. <laughs> if you come to Applebee's, don't get the shrimp, get the steak. Keep it loaded, mashed potatoes. Do they have shrimp pepper? Mm -hmm. I need some pepper for this um, coleslaw. I'm definitely going to have to take some of this to work. You can be my lunch. I'm full. No, I'm talking about I'm full. That little fake ice cream got me full. Thank you. 
this in here. And I'm just doing shit. Mm. Okay, lemon and tartar sauce is good. We already done. Yeah, I can only really have them. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to eat this for lunch. All right, y'all. When you come after these, don't get this. I'm good. I'm good. Don't fuck up. I love friends. Mm. So mad. Come on, this is dusty and crusty. Come on, homegirl. Eating good on this good Wednesday. Like, what the fuck is this? Let me just be grateful. Food review part two. Twenty-eight thousand and sixty-eight divided by twelve. I'm about to get this. Two thousand three hundred and thirty nine divided by two. We're right. <laughs> oh my so I fucked up part two. <laughs> I redeemed myself, then I unredeemed myself. By getting mean and rare, trying to be different, trying to be like my homegirl, all that blood. <laughs> <laughs> all that blood on my plate. Like, girl, don't don't get this so <laughs> mean and rare. Well I'm gonna give it to some date. I told the lady I messed up getting a new state. Don't be like me. Go with your first gut. I clean my plate, clean the blood off, because nobody want that. Period. Alright, so we're gonna do a scripper plus size try on haul. So I got my scripper bag, dance bag, with some clothes in it. And we're gonna try some pieces and see how I go. I don't even know what the other half of this is, but we're gonna, we're gonna we're about to do something. All right, so we're gonna try some Shein dancewear, and I got my lip pinky and two outfits I found like at a little store. Yeah, let's try this on. All right, so the first outfit. The first outfit eats down. Yeah. All right, so this is the white. What up, y'all? I'm back with another fucking video. What's up? I am off work and I'm so happy. I got off early today. I'm gonna do some Instacart and Uber today. That just feels so good to be off. I know I'm going to work technically still, but it's just like, it feels so good to be off from like your main job. Like, ugh, it's everything is everything. I just wanna scream, Woo! I'm off. <laughs> I know people are probably looking at me crazy as hell, but I don't care. But yeah, welcome back to another video. Um, I might try on my scripper shoes today, honestly, y'all, because it's getting close to really getting gear to really, like, do that. But honestly, I want to go work out. I need to start walking more and um, being active more, like, our health is our wealth, right? Yeah, we got to get to the bag, but we also got to get to the health because you can't make the bag without the health. Like, period. You got to feel your best self every day. 
Um, I've been going to the gym, but I've been traveling a lot, like going to different states, different states. It's crazy. Um, but I'm excited for this journey. That's my favorite word. Excited. I'm always excited to to live life to the fullest. You know what I mean? Um, lately I've been living and. I'm doing this thing where I'm doing all the things I love. I'm taking one year out and doing all the things I love. And like, which which means that, you know how, you know, the, the the saying is, you wake up one day and you wish you would have done all this because your, your life passed you by. I don't want to be like that. I don't want to feel like that. So I want to experience life. I want to make memories. I don't, I don't want to, I'm essening out my era of, you know, I'm always growing and learning, but I'm essening out the era of the basics, which is friends, family, people can hurt you. Um, life can, life can tear you down. You can lose it all. And I'm essening out that era and I'm going in, I'm into a new era, a new me, a new a new brand new me somebody who is seeing life in a different perspective and really a perspective i always seen life in but now i'm really just diving more deeply into it because how much can you go through over and over and over and over and over and over and over like how many times so you got to learn from things, grow from things, and be prepared to evolve from it. And that's where I'm at. I am evolving from what I've been through. And I appreciate myself for that. Because it's not a easy... It's not easy. You know? It's not easy to be... An alchemist. And... That's what I am. That's what I'm becoming, and that's what I am at the same time. And I'm just, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of me. I'm proud. I don't care. I don't care what nobody got over me. I don't. I don't care what if people have bothered me. I'm proud of me for how how far I came alone with no help. And I just want to keep seeing this new side of me or this side of me that I like I said I always known was me but I'm actually implementing in life what I am now and that includes doing all the things I love so if I want to normally like in my like normally I wouldn't have go out to go get food I'm like I'll be like no I need to save money or no I need to um Like, I will always say something to make me feel like I cannot do something because I have so many responsibilities and all that. But truthfully, I'm not letting nothing stop me anymore. Even with, like, things I want to do for myself, going to school, saving, if I got to miss a day at work. Like, I'm putting me first no matter what. Um... I ended up buying this little book, which is the one thousand one one thousand dollars challenge. Um, and I plan on getting it filled, and I'm gonna keep refilling it and keep refilling it and keep refilling it every time I save that thousand. And then also on top of that, I also started. I put it in 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 here. But I went to um, Walmart and they had, hold on, I'm driving, the light is green. Follow the rules of the rules, guys. But, um, so I went to Walmart and I ended up getting, I was just down the aisle walking, only just walking down the aisles. Um, I had found, like, you know, the garage sale things. So, I had seen some, and then they have, like, these numbers in it as if, like, you know, what, what you're trying to mark something down as or sell it for. So, I'm like, hmm, maybe I can use that as a saving tool. 
So a little light bulb popped in my head. I'm like, let me get these. And then on top of getting these, I'm gonna buy some envelopes. So I, built, I bought some envelopes and then I bought these um, garage sale stickers. So let me show y'all the stickers. So these are the garage sale stickers. And you see they have like one dollar, 75 cent, 50 cent, 150, two dollars, five dollars, 20. Um, and they give you multiple ones. So I said, I'm gonna use this as a saving technique. Like, why not? Get in those, I don't care if it's two dollars, fifty dollars, fifty cent. Like, I'm putting it up. So not only do I have my ooh, look, 40 coming out. Um, not only do I got my one thousand dollar challenge, which is like seven forty dollars, also got the envelopes and like I said, come with stickers. This one had 15 right here. So I had 15 in and bill and I put it in this envelope. And I just literally just fold it up and just put it in here as well. But yeah, so that's just like a little technique if anybody looking for a cool way to try to like save money, that would be one way. Go to, if you can't afford the $1,000 thing, um, which I got from Sheen for like, mm, like maybe like seven dollars eight dollars but these at walmart was like four dollars and oh yeah and also come with this if you want to write how much let's say a price that's not on here you can use these little things to put in your envelope to see how much you wrote but they have a lot of these so yeah i think it's pretty cool because i don't even know how much this is oh well it says one thousand one thousand pre price labels so I mean, I guess this is a thousand dollars. I don't know. All I know is a pretty cool tactic to use, and I'm gonna use it. So, um, but I am going to, since I'm off and happy. Um, I don't know. Like when I get off, sometimes I just be feeling like, oh my god, I'd be so excited. Like I don't even know what to do first. Like, but I'm gonna just relax. Maybe for like. 30 minutes because I do want to go make some money even though I'm just getting off work early but I do want to go make some other money because I, I be training myself on like Uber and Instacart um to help me just you know get better at it and so I can start using it as a technique to save um but thank you all for listening and Hope you all have a good day and happy Sunday.